Hey, what's going on guys? In today's tutorial, I'll be teaching you how you can download the Google Play Store on any Fire tablet for completely free. This will allow you to download some awesome apps and games which are not featured on the Amazon App Store. This only takes about 5 minutes and is completely free and done off of your Silk browser. Let's get into the video. What's going on guys? So let's get into the video. All you guys need to do is click the link in the description below. This will take you to this website, How to Geek, which has the links required to download this. You can find them from pretty much anywhere. It's just an APK you have to download off of Google, so it's definitely safe. Um, there's some settings you do need to change. We'll get into that here in a second. But as you can see on the website, those are the four links you need to download right there. You just click on them, pretty easy and simple. But first, we need to go to settings. So go drop down and go to settings, the little gear icon in the top right. Go to security and privacy when you're in there. And this will uh, let you to change the one of the settings called apps from unknown sources. It's just under privacy there, depending on what um, version of um, Fire OS you're running, it will vary. But um, it just says, allow installation of applications that are not from the App Store. This will basically allow you to download the APKs off of the internet so that you're able to download the Play Store. It's completely safe, and don't worry, there is no malicious software. Right, now that we're in the website, all you guys need to do is click the links in order. So click the first link to the APK, and then when it loads up here, you're going to click download by scrolling down. This is the same web page for all of them. As you can see, it's um, downloaded by Google, so it's definitely safe. So as you scroll down there, um, you'll be able to see the download button, and that will basically allow you to download the APK right there. Um, it does say there's a newer version, but it automatically upped for you, so don't worry. You just need to download this version. Um, I found it that it was outdated at first, but it automatically updated for me, so it was definitely usable. Now, we're going to click the second link here, which is going to take us to the second page, and you're just going to do the exact same thing. Scroll down and click the download button. It does say there's a newer version, however, they're all pretty much the same version. It does vary. You can download the newer version if you want, but it will automatically update after you restart your device. So now we're going to click the third link. Um, you click two options here. If your device is 2017 Fire HD different link, um, it will tell you on the website there. So now we're going to click the final link here, which will take us to the uh, the final page. All you do need to do is click download as well, and you'll be able to download that one and install it. You need to go to the Docs program. We'll get into that in a second. So after you're done downloading all of these, um, as you can see there, download the Google Play Store. It will say there's a newer version, but it will automatically update. It, it did on mine, so it should on yours as well. But you can obviously download a newer version depending on your needs. All right, now you want to head over to Docs. It's an application located um, anywhere on your Fire device, but it looks like um, kind of like Google Docs logo, but a little bit different. And this will basically allow you to go to your files and download all of them. As you can see there in your local drive, you'll be able to click onto them and then click install. All of them will be in order, so don't need to worry there. You'll just be able to click install on all of them and download all of them. After you're done downloading, it should work. Um, if not, you might might have not downloaded them in order, you might have to go back and do that again, but it's that big of a deal. So after we're done here, we should be go. So uh, all you do need to exit out, and there you go. The Google Play Store is opened, and as you can see, we have all the Google Play apps available to us that wouldn't be available on the Amazon App Store. So there you go, you have Spotify, all of those stuff, Snapchat. Um, WhatsApp Messenger, all that stuff. So you're going to be able to download all of that. Thank you for watching today's video. If you want to um, see more content in the future, make sure you comment down below on what you want to see, if it's an unboxing, a review, or a tutorial like this one. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I really hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for future content. Thanks for watching.